I'm so excited to finally be here because we've been talking about this for the last year and you walked me through doing a coffee enema, but I know a lot of people have asked you how to do it. And so I'm excited for you to walk me through every step. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I just, there's a few things I want to tell you before we get started. First of all, you know, I'm not a doctor, so do but your I'm own research. I'm going to call you Dr. Cal. Ah, <laughs> you can call me Dr. Cal, but do your own research because okay. this is literally the instructions on how I do my coffee enema. Um, so first thing you need to make sure is that you sanitize your supplies because literally you'll get an infection if you don't. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that because I always feel like I'm not doing it right. I always haven't got an infection yet, thank God. But can you show me how you do it? Yeah, for okay. sure, come on over. So first you're going to take the hydrogen peroxide and pour it directly into your bucket. Do you use anything else? Nope, just hydrogen peroxide. Okay. Um, then I take the tip of the tube, I dip it right into the hydrogen peroxide. Mm -hmm just to make sure that the tip gets all the bacteria off. Give it a little swirl, the hydrogen peroxide, inside your bucket so it cleans the inside of your bucket. Okay. And then I let it run all the way down the tube so it sanitizes the inside of your tube as well. You wanna make sure that you rinse out the hydrogen peroxide all the way because if that hydrogen peroxide gets <laughs> on your butt, it's gonna burn. Okay, like how it foams when you have a cut. And that's the risk. Okay. And do you do this before and after you use it? Yeah. Okay. And you just wanna make sure that your supplies are always clean. Right. Okay. And then what's the second thing so that you have to watch out for? The second thing is going to be the temperature of your coffee actually going into the body. Okay. Because it will, if it's too hot for your pan, then it's going to be too hot for your butthole. Okay, so you just use your finger. You don't use like a thermometer or anything. Totally. Just okay. dip it in. Use your judgment. Okay. All right. And then what else? Let's do it. Okay, so first, before you start, tell me how long does it take you to do it from start to finish? It takes two hours start to finish. And you do it in the morning part of your routine? Yeah, that's my prep um, in the morning because I get a bunch of energy from it, so I don't like to do it at night. It's what if I have like... I have a really busy day, I have to wake up early, and I don't have two hours. Can I prep this the night before? Yeah, you can make it the night before and save it in a jar, but just know that things are gonna be more fresh when you do it the day of. Right, okay, but it's it's better to do it than not do it at all. Exactly. Okay, okay, so then what do you do next? Okay, so what I do is I take 32 ounces of water and I bring that to a boil. Okay. Um, while that's going to a boil, I grab my coffee beans from the freezer, I keep them in the freezer because it prevents mold and it also doesn't fluctuate in temperature. My nickname's Moldy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you why. <laughs> Another time. Amazing. It amazing. just reminded me of it. All right. Well, I love that Moldy. So you're going to take... Any, every time you're doing this, uh, you're just going to think about me. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I'm going to be your Vanna White. Yes. Yeah, so okay. I take three tablespoons. I don't know how many you're going to take, but I take three tablespoons. Okay. It's just depending on the intensity of like caffeine and how you handle it. Yes. Okay. Did you always start out doing three or did you um, start out like slowly building your talk? My doctor had me um, at one and then I went up to three tablespoons. Oh. Okay. So you, you do need to build your tolerance. Oh. I think that's I like, why I say do your research because this is what I personally do. Okay. I think I'm just addicted to coffee. I don't think I'm addicted to the caffeine, <laughs> but I think that when you told me to do it the first time, you like gave me those instructions, I just went straight in to the three tablespoons. But I had a cup of coffee before I even did it. Yeah. Well, so well, I don't think I felt it. It affects people differently. That's why you gotta be your own researcher. Do your okay. own trial and errors. Oh my god, I did. <laughs> okay. Can you hear me? <laughs> Keep going. How long do you do it for? 10 seconds. So, like, chunky or fine? Um, fine. That's good. Say when. That's good. <laughs> Open up. So, this part's very, you have to be very careful. Because oh, do you dump it in, in the lid? I That's do. That's what I do. Okay. Yeah, dump it in the lid. I always use whole beans because um, 
it when I grind them up, it makes it. It's I feel fresh. like this is gonna fall everywhere. Very good. Okay. So I lower the heat when I put the um, coffee grounds inside because these are cold frozen grounds, and then you're putting it into boiling water. Sometimes it can overflow, so you have to be very careful and aware. Okay. That's kind of what happens when you do like, Turkish coffee. Exactly. Some people, you know. This is all trial and error. Sometimes, literally, I have coffee grounds all over my stove. Is this the messiest it gets for you? Yep. We'll see later. Here you go, assistant. Okay. Thank you. And then, so this is gonna boil for four minutes. Okay. When it's done boiling for four minutes, you're gonna bring down the temperature um, to a low heat, and you'll let it simmer for 14 minutes. Okay. So what do you do in the meantime when it's boiling? You just watch it? I, I <laughs> smoke a bowl. Nice. <laughs> um, no, I actually go and I prep my bathtub. Oh, okay. First, I just want to say how jealous I am of this tub. It's like my dream tub. It's beautiful, right? Yeah. You want to clean it with me? Yeah. All right. So first things I do is I wipe down the tub because of sanitary reasons. Did I ever tell you how I have songs that like, get stuck in my head with words like, First things first. First things first. First, first, things first on the realist. Do it, do it. Awesome. Okay. Tub is super sanitized. Then what I do is I like to take a towel and lay it for comfort. Sorry. You're good. Lay it out. I have one of those um, tub pillows. Yeah, that's probably a better option, honestly. But you know, I do. Put this work. I do what I do. Um, and I also have a little rag here, and that's to put on my rectum in case there is a little explosion. And what it does is it helps the sphincter hold on tight. Oh. So sometimes you get a little bubbly and it could. Oh, you know, I remember you told me to like wad up toilet paper. Yes. Okay, I remember. It's just like it's, it's, bu bubbly. it's the body's natural instinct to tighten. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so sense. keep that close. Okay. And then um, I have my cell phone for my timer. And we are now ready for the coffee enema. Okay, let's get it. Cool. Okay. Okay, so now what do you do? Okay, so all you're gonna do is now that the coffee is cooled down, you're gonna take your coffee filter and pour it right into the enema bucket. It's gonna catch all the um, grounds. You don't want the grounds to go in. <laughs> oh, and. Out. You want to make sure that you always close your clamp. Because you're going to learn. There's, I've had so many messes happen throughout this process. So you don't use like a paper filter or something else? I don't. I always have used a coffee filter because it lets the silt go through, which I already told you helps with the detoxification. But um, I never use paper. Okay. That makes sense because you need that stuff. You also want to undo the clamp, let all the coffee come to I'm gonna actually go through. The, I feel like this is like an IV. You know when they do that and they get all the bubbles out? Exactly, and that's what you want because those bubbles are gonna go inside you. So now the coffee has gone all the way through the tube. Okay. And we're ready for the coffee enema. Yes. You okay. look so cozy. I am cozy. <laughs> Okay, so what I have is my coconut oil because I got to lube my tip before I put it in. Just the tip? Just the tip. Yeah, I get a good amount. Ooh. I'm going to grab the tip. Okay. Add the lube. Get that good on there. Okay, so do you put it on your butt too? I don't. Okay, when I first did it, I thought I was so scared. And so I was like lubing my butt. And then <laughs> well, it could get too that. slippery and then it slips out and then you have a whole nother Well, issue. I don't have experience in the back door, so. All right, well, <laughs> so then you take the tip and you're going to stick it right in your butt. Hold on. <laughs> Great. It's in. Houston, are we in or do we have a problem? <laughs> so I keep the um, clamp low. Okay and then you release. So now it's going in. Do you slow the release in or do you just kind of like I just let, let it, it go. go fast? I just oh. let it go fast. Then I like to lay on my side. Does it matter what side you're on? Um, the right side's better because it doesn't pinch off any organs and it's gonna go all the way in. Oh. So you can see the, the bucket is lowering. Uh -huh. I take my phone also and set the timer because you're that. It's already started. 
Right. Okay. You want you want to, the goal is a retention enema, so it stays in for 15 minutes. How's it going? It's good. It kind of looks like it's going slow. How does it feel? It feels cold. So normally I would have the um, water a little bit warmer, a little bit mm -hmm. more body temperature, but it feels fine. I can feel it going in. It feels a little bit like air. Okay. So what do you do when you're doing this? Do you just... Um, sometimes I do, like, I'll have my cell phone, so I'll do research. Other times I get really gassy. Mm -hmm. So I'll work on, um, like, breathing. And it's <sighs> literally will help, and you'll see sometimes bubbles go right up into the bucket. That's so it's great. just a slow release. I think we're down to 16 ounces. And I'll show you what happens when we get to the end. I'm gonna pull the bucket. Do you want me to help you? Yes. Help me. Okay. So you see how the silt is starting to come down? Yeah. I okay. always, at the end of the bucket, I always try to shake it so that the silt goes through the tube. Kind of adjust it. I'm gonna get off, well, I'm gonna stay on my side until the very end. And then I just kind of help guide it all the way down. And then once it's, oh, do you need the towel? I don't need the towel because okay. I didn't have any cramping. I just clamp the tube, sit up, pull it out, and you'll relax for 15 minutes. I lay back down and just relax. I remember one time I was trying to be distracted because you told me, <laughs> you're like, you can call someone, you could text, you could just do research. So I called my brother because we had to catch up on something. And every like, I don't know, like maybe 30 seconds, I'd get like a bubble in my stomach <laughs> and I'd feel like I couldn't pay attention and that it was gonna release. And then I'd be like, okay, I'll call you right back. And then I'd hang up. I probably did that five times to him and he had no idea. No, I'm shitting, I'm shitting. Yeah. And then I finally told him the other day, he's like, that's disgusting. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> hey, it's your time. It feels good. I do I feel know. really good right now. You do? Is I it like is high. it like bubbling? Slightly. Have you ever put like THC in there, like little like drops? I'm doing it tomorrow. <gasps> you should do it. <laughs> no, I haven't done THC. Um, I've done um, lemon, which helps with like inflammation, which is, that's when the loogies come out of your butthole. Ew. Oh. Um, Wait, did you say you could do apple cider vinegar? Apple cider vinegar also is a pH balance. That doesn't burn? No. I you dilute it. Oh. Yeah. What's that one for? <laughs> um, I feel like I'm holding for dear life. <laughs> I'm like so nervous for you. <laughs> okay, I know you're a pro, but you don't have to do this for the whole 15 minutes. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to go. Okay.